Do you live here? I'm from here. Uh, you're from here? Uh -huh. Was you here whenever the tornado hit? I wasn't. Uh, my uh, brother, or my uncle that you just stopped and talked to in that black truck, he was. He was. Mm -hmm. Was it horrifying? Well, he was out in his shed. He didn't even have time to make it fly. But that side of Sandberg didn't get much damage. Like, he didn't get any damage to his house. Now, he lives with my grandmother. Well, she, I brought her to my house because I heard how bad it was going to be, and we have a storm shelter, so. Well, my mother-in-law has it, and we all use it, so. Sandberg took a heck of a big lick, didn't it? I think Sandberg and Mayfield was probably the worst. I don't know. Dresden, Tennessee got hit, yeah, too. Dresden and Kenton. And Kenton. Um, but, see, I'm, I'm from here. I just moved, like, two and a half years ago. I see. Is the damage the damage basically stops right up here, don't it? And then it picks back up um, over goes, there in Sandburg. The but the worst part of it's back this way, ain't it? And then when you go to like uh, when you come to the four way in Sandburg, yeah, at that stop sign, uh, if you turn right, that's like where the, down by the ballpark, that's where the that's really where, bad stuff is. Yeah, all those roads up there by the ballpark, like my old house that I moved from two years ago, is, my trailer is completely gone. It looked like it flipped these uh, RVs like my a. Mom actually works for Jan. The, one, the woman that owns all this, and yeah, her motel got a little bit of damage, but not much. Did I heard Blue Bank got hit? Not the new Blue Bank, the old Blue, where Blue Bank used to be. Oh, okay. And I heard the park got hit. The park got hit. Cypress Point got the worst of it, which is actually the woman that owns this stuff right here. That's her sister that owns Cypress Point. Right. And it's. I mean, it's completely gone. That's where the man and the son passed away, and they're still looking for the other man. Really? They're still looking for somebody? Uh-huh. He's from Florida. He was down here hunting, and they can't, They found, I guess it was his brother and his nephew. They passed away, and they're still looking for him. His name's Jamie Hall. Oh, my God. But, yeah, it, Sandberg took a about direct hit. Direct. Is it really bad that way? I don't know. I ain't been back I that way. I haven't been back that way either. I just went from Sam or through Sandberg. On the back road back here? Yeah. Was it bad? Uh, like through Hornby? No, back, back. Oh, yeah, back this way, yes, it was bad. Really? It was very bad. That's where my old trailer was, and it's gone. I got you. All right, I'm going to look around. <laughs> Thanks for talking <laughs> to me. Be careful. There's debris everywhere. It's I right know in the middle it. of Sandberg. Imagine it flipped them little old trailers like right there like it was just toothpicks. Got this building here. This is the one here that had all the painting on the side of it. A lot nice beach beachfront or waterfront properties. Look at the trees, not hardly a limb. Or not a branch, hardly a small branch. Everything's been ripped off. God. Hey, what do they call this area right here? Sunset Ramp. Sunset Ramp. Lake Drive. Sunset Ramp. Right there, Sunset Ramp. And then once you go on around, then you start getting over in the uh, over in the um, spillway area, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then once you pass the spillway, then you. Then you start getting into the park area. Yeah, yeah. Where the you can't state. Get down that way. You, you can't. Down, right past the spillway, the highway patrol got the road cut off. Why? They're still looking for a body. Power line down. Is body. it worse than this? Just as bad. Just as bad. I don't think it's getting no worse. But they're still looking for somebody? Three people out of Florida. Man, his brother, 
one of the year old sons was up here duck hunting. Oh man. They found the man and his son in the edge of the lake Saturday morning. But I'm sure that they was dead. Yet. That's the reason they got to it. In other words, they was out on the water hunting. No, or in a blind. No, they was in they was in bed. This all this happened at night. Oh, that's right. And there was a couple of other guys with them and uh, they left and went to uh, Dyersburg and got in a safe room down at Dyersburg, but these three wouldn't leave. Oh, man. This used to be a trailer park right over here to the left, if I'm not mistaken. Sir, do you need a ride? I'm going right here, man. I just had to get my boat out of the boat house. I got you. Did you get did you get a lot of damage? Well, if you look right over here, it's gone. Where? What else? I mean, you, you uh, just total loss? Oh, yeah. Total loss. Total loss. Did you lose a boat or a car or anything in the deal? Everything. I got one boat there. Wow. I got her out. Get a trailer turn around for you. Thank you, sir. Right. Is that is that it right there, your log, log cabin? Yes, sir. The log cabin is yours? Yes, sir. It was a two-story house. And as well as it's built, it still didn't make it? Huh? Golly, Bill. Man, I'm so sorry this happened to you. It's rough. I can only imagine. Lakefront property. We work down here for the next 10 years. First year be cleaning up. And second year be getting things organized to start building. And then probably take 10 years to build this back. A generation. Lord, Lord. See, this is what it looks like in Mayfield, Kentucky. This is exactly what it looks like in Mayfield, Kentucky. Just nothing but rubble. Basically like a landfill. I just smell propane or some sort of gas. I see those tanks everywhere. Look at this, just rubble. That one trailer made it. My God. American flags out everywhere. Lawnmower up on top of the building. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. I can only imagine what it was like the first day you had to crawl out of here. Kind of like what happened during Katrina. Mm -mm 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 -mm. You know, every time I get in a area like this where it's recently been devastated, and I said this on one of my other films, document, that it just gives me just a, a eerie, sick feeling of knowing how, how bad that this truly is. 
and of course whenever you're looking at something like this you look at the physical part of it right towards stuff being ripped and torn apart and and being mutilated and torn torn the shiverines uh you look at that part but there's another part that people don't look at and that's the invisible part the psychological part the mental health part uh, so many people, you know, these are, this is basically a retirement center down here where your elderly people come down here to, to remain and live out their golden years. And most of them, you know, are, uh, are way up in, in, in their ages, 60, 70 years old, kind of like myself. And, uh, They got professional cutters right there. And, uh, it is so extremely hard to start all over again. But it's even more so hard whenever you're already an elderly or a retired elderly or a senior, senior citizen, and you have to start all over again from that perspective. Is any of this stuff yours? Uh, most of my stuff survived. It did. My, I'm, my house starts right there at that red brick house and there's some stuff back behind it. Any of it yours? No. No, I'm from Weekly County. Yeah. Um, I had a friend up here that lived up here. Um, Sonny, I don't know if you know him or not. He used to run a, a body shop over in Tremble. Mm -hmm. CNS, CNS Motors. Uh, there was a there was a fairly nice looking shop on the left hand side, but I'm disoriented. I don't know where I'm at right now. I don't know if it was down that way or that way. I'm serious. I'm disoriented. You can't tell what you got looking down that way. I know all the land landmarks is gone. It's all So it sounds to me like he may have gotten lucky to some extent and didn't get heavily damaged. Let me go on around this bend and see if I can't recognize where I'm at. God, I've been down this road hundreds of times. Did y'all get damaged? Well, I was told it's bad up that way, too. Well, here on, it ain't nothing. It's Cypress Point, but not anything on this road. It ain't, no, this, this is the last house on this road. Is it? Yeah. Okay. Ah, so it must have come over the lake and bounced around. Other than a few ripped off shingles and some stuff displaced, so they did get lucky back over here on this end. But it ain't much. You're looking at a quarter of a mile. <coughs> Good grief. No, I'm not even on the road where that guy where I was talking about. I mean, I'm on the road, but I'm not in the right place. Let's drive on down. Like I said, this is a retirement place. This is a place where people come, sit back, camp, have bonfires, do a little fishing, get out on their deck, enjoy the water, peaceful, tranquility. Yeah, okay, this is the other part of it. And I think this is where my friend used to live. I'm pretty sure it is. And they must have gotten very, very lucky. Blessed. Didn't hit them. Well, at least it didn't get all of them like that one guy told me. That one guy told me that he got all of them. There wasn't nothing left. I thought, my God, for surely it just didn't go down the side of the, of the 
lake bank and just wipe out everything that was down here. Got quite a bit lakefront property. Probably three miles. We're at Real Foot Lake, right here at Sunset. They finally opened this road up for the general public to drive down. You know, look at all the ducks. The ducks probably freaked out. I know you guys are scared. You went through something too. And the new blue bank, according to what that guy just told me, did not get blown away. See, that was another fable that somebody had told me. Gossip or whatever. People that don't know what they're talking about whenever they're talking. Which makes me look bad if I repeat what they've said. Because then it's like, well, you created that, that, uh, that lie. No, I didn't create the lie. I'm just going by what everybody else has told me. Now I'm back down here where I can actually see, but I can see that the restaurant didn't get didn't get hit, didn't get damaged. But getting back of what I was saying a while ago, this is an area that is well known for people all over the world, not just in America, but all over the world that comes down here to relax, uh, spend a little R&R, &R, relax, and, and go fishing. You can rent out boats here. You can get rooms here. You can get cottages here, um, et cetera, et cetera. So it must have taken on a lick on the other side of the spillway, and if that be the case, that guy said that that road was closed. I don't even know. I don't even know if I should even go down that way if the, if the road's still closed, if they're still looking for bodies. So sad. All right, this little uh, makeshift park right here for RVs, it looks like it didn't get any damage neither. It's good which is good. Now we're coming around down here on the spillway. Put that phone up there. Ain't supposed to be driving and, and uh, filming. They don't like for you to. And this is probably where I have to turn around. Because he's probably going to ask me what kind of business that I have down here. This is a spillway. And then if you go around the spillway, um, There's actually a, uh, yeah, they've got the state troopers out up here. And if you go around, let me cut this thing off. I see the blue lights up here, so I'm going to go through a roadblock. 